We live in this amazing age where anyone can share their voice with the world through so many different platforms. YouTube is one of these platforms, and well, if you're not already acquainted with it, I'm going to wonder how you got into this video. But for the sake of it, YouTube is a video sharing platform which was launched back in 2005 by George Krim and his friends prior to their jobs at PayPal. The first video uploaded was a short vlog of George at the zoo. Alright, so here we are, one of the uh, elephants. Um, cool thing about these guys is that, is that they have really, really, really long um, fronts, and that's, that's cool. And that's pretty much all there is to say. And since then, so much footage has been uploaded, it's one of the most popular sites on the internet. To summarize, really, YouTube is just a site where anyone can upload videos they've made to share with anyone around the world. Now, this was not an idea which was foreign to the world. Take Newgrounds, a site prior to YouTube where people can upload their animations, but that's not what we're talking about today. Well, to be honest, I have no real idea what I'm making this video about. These videos can be of anything, from cat videos to anything done at 3am. Don't try this. As for some reason, people still want to make this kind of content. Carlos is here! It's because of this variety of content, you can find a video of nearly anything on YouTube, from educational to funny, or something very, very weird. What this means is YouTube's reach over the years has grown exponentially, making it basically a new modern day television. It's really quite impressive when you compare it to when it first launched. Other than having more users, the amount of content being uploaded is so great that if I were to stop time and try to watch every video, it would take more than my entire lifetime. Now this is not to say that all the content on YouTube is good, well, or original in the slightest. With so much being uploaded, there's no surprise there's a lot of trends on YouTube. And with this much success, it's no surprise YouTube has changed over the years like any site. For better or for worse, that is. Take this damn layout. It changes so often, most people can't even find their own videos. Or that time they integrated Google+, or more recently changes to the sub boxes, the thumbnails. Really, anything you can think of, if it hasn't already changed, it will be changed. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. But probably the most important change was the addition of monetization. This lets creators monetize their videos and make money off them, effectively making YouTube actually a viable career. What a fucking... Jeez, oh my god, what the fuck? Sorry, but what the fuck? What a fucking asshole. Well, I, I said kinda. But what do I need to do to make money? Well, that's very simple. You need success, and that is something I can't really uh, cover. But in the simplest of terms, you'll need views, and well, YouTube has a lot of them to give. But what is it that makes YouTube so viewed? It's not just this variety of content, it's this personal element you can see in any of the content on the platform. No matter what kind of video you watch, from a vlog to a let's play, or something else entirely, someone or their work is visible. Meaning, somebody took the time to record it or edit it, etc. This is still technically the same for any other media, but I find there's something more genuine about YouTube content. Other than the content feeling more genuine, a big difference I can think of is a budget. This including channels like Corridor Digital or Freddy Wong and the such, well, most channels don't have a budget to make a video. It's just regular people doing what they enjoy and sharing it with others. Although as a channel grows, they are able to do more, not just because of the money, but the opportunities that become open to them. But in the case of mainstream media, budgets are very frequent and obviously required. Take Black Mirror. Now there's not much documentation I could find on how much it costs, but based off what Netflix paid for the show, it's most likely $3.5 million. Per episode, that is. It's most likely $40 million per season. But to be honest, this isn't even very much for a show. But why are people watching YouTube when shows like this exist? Well, that's a hard question to answer. It may be similar to the way reality television succeeded, with the thought of seeing yourself in the media and almost, this could be me. Why is this not me? Or because YouTubers are not forced to follow traditional styles or ideas. They can try out genres that media would never try as it may prove fruitless, or possibly how YouTubers seem more authentic and relatable than an ordinary celebrity. Put simply, people like YouTube because it is YouTube. It's this wild wasteland of content where so much will go unseen, where anyone can go from viewing content to becoming the creator of their own content. Because of all of this, YouTube is not a simple video sharing platform. It is something more. It is a community. And this is clear when YouTubers bring up comments and likes that you realise you've always been a part of it. 
as it is you who make it possible for your favourite creator to create. You decide what you like or dislike, you subscribe to who you want to and upload what you make, where you think to yourself of becoming the star, when all along you have been the star. As without you, what is there? This is why YouTube is the media of today. Thanks for watching. Hey, thank you guys for watching. I know this isn't my normal kind of video, and I'm planning to do more in future, and now that I've finished this, I've kind of learnt a lot, and uh, hopefully the next one won't suck ass, but uh, anyway, if you enjoyed the video, leave it a like, and join my Discord, because that's where I'm going to be discussing what the next one will be on, uh, and as always, I'll see you later. Thank you.